We are back in the formula class on iRacing, and today we're at Algarve. So let's jump into qualifying. Crossing the line and the man with the green flag waves it for us to start our first qualifying lap at Algarve. Coming down to the first heavy braking zone here. And remember, tires are cold, brakes are cold, so we've got to get a decent lap in to start. It's not too bad. Round the first couple of corners. Cut this to get the straightest line possible so we don't have to lift off. And then the second hairpin coming up at the end, breaking at the end of the green. Trailing off. And nicely taken. This is such a tough corner. Oh, well out wide on that one. But we managed to keep it on track. So it hasn't affected our ability to set a lap just yet. But we'll be looking to improve on that next lap. And here we go. The last section is all flat out. So we have managed to set a qualifying lap here. We'll have to wait and see how good it is. But now that we've set a banker lap, we can try and just push a bit harder on this one. Best time is a 145.069. Ours is a 147.9, roughly similar to what I was doing in qualifying. So let's push a bit harder now on this lap. Oh, not too hard. Oh, penis. We need to make sure we have a clean race to bump up our safety rating and a good race to bump up our I rating. So join me and let's head to the grid. We're starting in P8. The lights are on and we're away couple of people didn't start now I'm starting p8 there's uh, 12 13 in this race so five behind me coming up to the first corner now oh there's been an incident with a guy with the same livery as me so I've made up a place there not exactly sure what happened breaking a bit earlier here taking the inside or oh. contact there in front of me which means there's a guy beside me right now he's nearly He's nearly hitting my right rear. Good start, Taking mate. the nice inside one. line here on the hairpin. Oh, contact! Woo <laughs> that was close. He's right beside me. I've got to be careful. The oh, oh, oh! 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 What Check the freaking hell, man? What an idiot! I left so much. Oh no! Oh, it's chaos! Right, we've got a pit for repairs. Right, that was absolutely ridiculous. I left him so much space there, and he just decided to T bone me anyway. I think he might have had contact, because there's been some disputes in the chat. But still, whoever's fault it was, it's uh, very, very annoying and disappointing for me. Right, we're away again. Now it looks like, magically, I'm still in P8 because of all the other incidents that happened in the same time span. So, we are actually still fighting for position here in front. Which is Geordie. Oh, we've okay, gone off track, but we have made it an overtake as well. And now I'm up in P7. We've got Ryan Palmer behind us. He's sending it down the inside. He's there. Oh! <laughs> oh no! What the hell, mate? Are you joking? Are you joking? Right, no, somehow no meatball for that one, even though we rolled. And we, uh, we're down in P9. We have to make up the places that we lost. That was outrageous. We do have a bit of uh, wheel misalignment here, but not bad enough. Brought down the gap to Geordie in front from about seven seconds to five. So we are reeling him in. But then Adrian Blackburn ahead of him is a, a good uh, extra 45 seconds away. So it's going to be tough, but it can be done. Right, Geordie is now just 2.2 seconds ahead. I can see him 
just rounding the first corner. Oh, incident. Go around him. Lovely. So he's made a mistake and we are now back up into P7. Halfway done in this race. We're still 48 and a half seconds behind P6. So it's looking increasingly unlikely that anything is uh, going to occur in front of us. We need him to have a pretty big accident. Going five minutes left. Blackburn has had an incident in turn three, so that shows how far ahead he is. But hopefully it's a bad one. That'd be nice. All right, it is the white flag lap. As There's nothing incident, really to fight for. We've got 23 be, um, second gap behind and a 50 second gap in front. It's just about uh, bringing the car home now. Been lifting and coasting for a couple of laps. No, more than a couple of laps. Just managing the drive. Whoa, that wasn't exactly perfect, but... And rounding the final high-speed corner, flat out. As we see the man waving the checkered flag and coming across the line to take P7 at Algarve. All right, let's investigate our first lap incidents and see really what went on. Because we got a good start. And as we come through here, we made a couple of overtakes. This guy is really weaving trying to get my rear tire so we came down here and we made an overtake on the hairpin and it was a good one so that's where he has a little little touch of my rear right and i was i was warned about it i left him plenty of space through here no problem at all and yeah okay he didn't get hit from behind he just didn't stop he just didn't stop I'm trying to be a better racer and to think, what could I have do to not put myself in this situation? I would like to think that there's not much more I could have done in this situation. I had left him plenty of space through the first corner, and my trajectory shows that I was going to leave him plenty of space through the next corner as well. Because through here, there was plenty of space for him. I suppose I could have taken a wider line in, but realistically, he's, he's too close. He didn't slow down enough. And that's, uh, that's what happened. Now the next lap, after I'd been into the pits already, I was racing with a couple of cars behind me. So let's see what happens as we come up. And this is through this right-hander over the crest that I believe is called Portimao. So he sends it down the inside, car number three. I left him space. And he pulls over towards me. Now I have to, I'm in front for, for a start, but I also have to make this corner. So I'm t you know, staying as close to the left as possible. There's plenty of space between us. Okay, uh, and once again, I just completely got dr driven into. So here's his, here's his POV. He's, I don't think it's intentional, but I think possibly if he's on a single screen or something because I can see myself to the left and then but then it what it looks like is he's just trying to take the line and drives into me completely into my rear wheel which uh, rolls me over I don't think it was intentional but it was silly because if you have a spotter or a radar or common sense given that you just overtook me on the corner and that I was actually in front of him, then you should be able to know that I was there. Now, before I check the results, don't go anywhere because we have a second race coming. And if you want to talk everything sim racing and racing IRL, check out my Discord. Link is in the description, along with some affiliate links and my Patreon for exclusive member content. And the results are in. It's not terrible. We've got the 0.02 minus on our safety rating, so a, a negative, but not exactly the worst we can recover that pretty easily and then just a plus nine on our i rating so okay and now to focus on sports cars because i also need to bring up my safety rating to get into c-class and aspire to the porsche cup so i'm gonna jump in to the gr86 in the production car sim lab challenge at zolder ladies and gentlemen it's qualifying time and it's the green flag as we cross the line to start our first qualifying lap and first corner Oh, not good. Not good. I was fastest in practice, and so I expect a lot here. 
but that one was not good. The tyres aren't as warm though. Uh, I have to get heat into them. But we're still on the track, so we'll set this as a sort of banker lap. Oof, just kissing the dirt there. And as we come down now to a left-right chicane. Breaking at the... Here. And we can sort of bounce over these a little bit as we have very, very soft suspension. Won't affect us too much. Oh, and through the second chicane is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Apart from the first corner, this has been a good lap so far. But now the hairpin. Nicely taken. And now we just have a flat out left right to go. Fastest is Mikel Monge for 145.1. And we are through the last corner. What time can we set? Oh, P2 with a 142.8. That's by far the fastest time I set. I was accidentally practicing on wets in the dry. So this is by far the fastest time I've set. No! Oh, no, 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 no! It's all gone wrong. And a poor gear shift has ended our qualifying session, but currently P2 by two seconds. So that is good start. It's a long race, though, 25 minutes. So join me and let's head to the grid. Go, go. Okay, and the lights have gone green after we finished up our formation lap. There's just the left, right to go. Uh, slight lift off there just to not, I don't know, crash. But we are starting in P3. We got knocked down one position from the start. That is still a very good place to build from, though. Yellow oh, flag. there's an incident Car here with a couple of BMWs. I've overtaken one of them. A couple of the Toyotas in front. Richard and Scott are getting away. Got to keep up with them. One of the BMWs is flying down there so quick in a straight line. I'm going to let him through, even though it compromises my attack on second position. It's not worth racing, although that is not great because another Toyota is steaming past now. This is a little wet section on the track. And we have been overtaken. We are now down in fourth place. Oh! Oof! Oh no, and that little mistake has got Nathan behind us in fifth coming up as well. Oh, it's so tight now. Down to the hairpin. On the inside. And we have retaken fourth place. He's coming up on my left though. It's tight, it's very tight. Surely he's going to pull in behind. Yes, he does pull in behind for the uh, for the little left right. Oh, oh my days! Oh my god, that was close. That was slippery. Track limits, but luckily we made it out alive. That was nearly not the case. And we've made a beautiful first corner. So Creighton is our next rival. Going to send it up the inside here. No, not quite. Didn't send it, but we are right behind him now. Oh, the track is slippery. Freaking hell, we've held it. The track, I think, is a little slippery, a little damp, perhaps. Did say 0% chance of rain, but... Is 
sending it down into the hairpin exactly the same as pin exactly the same as we did last time with daisy's been clattered from behind though i'm so lucky that wasn't me my days that was incredible we are five minutes into this 25 minute race the next car is car number 26 and their rating is and that's the first time we've actually had to take the hairpin normally without an overtake and it means we have cut the gap in front by three tenths it's now only one second in front 1.6 behind though as well 0.6 the gap we're getting a little bit of a toe now coming up to the left right chicane oh and a little bit of contact as we just go side by side i was right up behind him we've got another chicane coming up Hard breaking into there, following him nicely. We don't want to attack into there. It's probably not the best idea. We've also got Yuichi behind us, 0.2 seconds. It's going to be an attack. Oh no, into the hairpin. I'm going to lose the position. I wonder if I can switch back. No, not quite, and I've lost the position here. It's good racing, though. I thought I'd be able to get Creighton, but unfortunately, I lost to Kawhi behind me. Let's see if we can uh, regain the position we lost. Oh, Creighton's gone. Creighton's gone. Oh, so close to touching me, but luckily, he did not. But that means uh, I've gained back up into fourth position. Kawhi in front of me has the third position that I want. The last of the podium places and where I started on the grid. So his last lap was a 143.3. My best is a uh, 143.6. Alejandro Diaz is now just 0.5 behind me. As JP says, thanks for letting him through with the hairpin. Ooh, this is going to be a tough battle behind. He's been gaining for a little while. And I've uh, lost some time to Kawhi in front. Diaz is lapping just a tiny bit quicker than me. Just a couple of tenths. Oh, no. Oh, first corner mishap. And he's put him right just behind me. This is good. This has put some gap between me and Diaz. He is now 1.9 behind instead of 0.5. This is very nice. Just 10 minutes remaining. We have had 15. There's a yellow flag up here. Looks like a big accident. But what class? Oh, it's a Toyota. Oh, it's Yuichi Kawaii. And I've gone back up into P3 where I started. That is good news for me. The yellow flag coming in the correct class. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! No. And it's a, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. And there goes Diaz straight through. And I've got Kawhi now bearing down on me as well. Okay, Nick. The next car is Diaz. Car number 20. Kawhi is just 0.3 behind. We've got a BMW flying down here. Bad timing because this is right at the hairpin. Oh, and I'm being told to yield 0.4 seconds. No, I'm being overtaken anyway by Kawhi. I'm back down in fifth. He's being held up by Mazda though. Oh, and he's been spun again. He's been spun again. Second time at the same corner and I've gone back through into fourth. Oh, this Mazda keeps bumping me from behind. I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. Should uh, should probably just drive around me instead. Oh, Diaz was out. I didn't even see him. I've gone past him. He was crashed. I wondered who that was. And I'm up into P3 again. Incredible. Up back into the podium places. Apart from one mistake, it's been a good race. A lot of good uh, racecraft as well, which is something that we can't say often. 
and I've been on the pace from the very start, from practice. And it is indeed the white flag lap that we are coming up to start now. In P3, a podium position. And we've uh, sent it down the inside on the Mazda. And he's going to do the same for us. It's a bit of fun here. We've gone around the outside, which means I will have the line for this fast corner coming up, which is not really an overtaking spot. And indeed I have, and I've taken it nicely. Possibly one of the best ones I've done in the race so far. And here we are through the final left right and crossing the line to take a podium position in the production card challenge. Well done, Nick. Great drive. P3. What a drive. From practice to lights to flag. It's been an absolute stunner. And the results are in. Oh, it's not bad. Plus 0.11 to make our safety rating 2.81, which is all right. And then plus 71 to our I rating, which is good. Uh, but we're only back up to 1200 due to some off camera antics. We're getting closer and closer to C class and that goal of the Porsche Cup. Only weakness I have is for the brunettes. You already know I'll kill any shit I do next. No kids, so I'm raising the roof. Next year, they'll admit they just stands like an Uzbek.